What's up YouTube? It's Kate and John. And we're back again with another video just like we promised. Babe, did you see something in the back of the video? No. What? I was in the back of the video. No, I just saw something pop up. Hold on. I'm about to check the memory card. All right, y'all. I got the memory card in here. I just want to rewatch this. I, it might not have been anything. Oh! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? I'm backing it up. I'm backing it up. Oh, my. What? What's that? That's the cross from the cemetery on that yeah. wall. Yeah. On that wall right there. Yep, yep. And that looks, that looks just like. Are you sure that's the one? Is oh, that, my gosh. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? How is that inside our house? This is freaky. How is that inside our house? Wow. Wow. It's Kate and John. And we're back again with another video just like oh we promised. Oh my gosh, it just popped up again. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Katie. Look at that. This on is that nice. wall, literally. Yeah. Literally. Hold on. I'm looking at this wow. wall. Is there anything on this wall? What does that mean though? You know? I don't know. <gasps> the wall is cracked. Yeah, it sure is. Look, and it goes up all, all the way here. Oh. Yep. The wall is cracked. Katie, hey, what does this mean? Are you serious? What? Is, I'm trying what? To... Are these burn marks on the wall? Holy crap! I bet they are. That oh my god. So all right guys, so I really don't know what to do. I don't know what to think about these cracks in the wall, burns on the wall. Like I'm I'm flabbergasted. Hey, hey, hey. I'm flabbergasted. I got an idea. What about remember that spirit box? That mm -hmm. was uh Oh, we that found we found that. in the safe. Yes. What about that? Why don't we hook that thing up? Oh, spirit box. I just how do we use it? I don't what about going back to that cemetery? Use it in the cemetery? Yes. I don't know, man, because how did that cross get in this house? And I don't like going to that cemetery anyway, either. I don't know. I think that's the place to do it, though. That's where the cross was. That's where that murderer, rapist guy is. That's where it probably came from. I need to do wow. some research on the spirit box first. I need to figure yeah. out how to use a spirit box yeah. and what that spirit box is for. Because yeah. after we opened it, I just threw it to the side. I'm going to be honest with you wow. guys. Like... I've been done with this stuff, and when we got the spirit box, I didn't mess with it at all. I don't want to mess with it, but yeah. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna look up how to use it and see what it's about, just, just for the sake of this video. Okay, guys, so I did a little bit of research about spirit boxes, and basically, they are, they're similar to a radio, and they operate on frequencies. And how you use it is, you connect headphones to the spirit box, aka the radio. You put on headphones, and you hear words of spirits that are talking. I'm gonna roll a clip right now of some YouTubers that we know named Sam and Colby that do this a lot, and I'm gonna insert that for you guys to see just an example of how a spirit box works. If the spirits are separate, is one of them a malevolent mother spirit? Ooh. Very doubtful. Very doubtful. Mm -hmm. And he didn't even answer. You already know. Is there any evil spirits in the house? As I see it, yes. Well, yeah. <sighs> Is there a spirit in the basement that is dangerous? It is decidedly yes. so. Yes. You said what? It is decidedly so. At Look the same this. time. Yes. And guys, he's shaking it multiple times because it lands on its, its side. side. So as you can see, that's how the spirit box works. It's pretty simple and it's pretty self-explanatory. We are going to take the spirit box tonight and we are going to do an overnight challenge in the cemetery while using the spirit box. We're gonna stay out there literally until 3 a.m. and beyond just to see if we can get any type of spirit activity so that we can get answers on what is going on in this house. We have tried to move past it multiple times, but as you can see, it keeps popping up, even a cross popping up in the video. Like, I don't understand how that can happen. I don't understand how that cross could be inside this house. That cross is not in this house. We haven't seen it since we left the cemetery. So for it to pop up on the back wall of our video and the wall is literally cracked and burned, I don't understand how something like that can happen. So we have to go searching for answers. I know that you guys are thinking this is crazy. Like why would they go back to that cemetery and look for answers like this? But we have no choice, you guys. We have to live here. We paid for three months to live in this house and we have no choice. So we have to do a paranormal investigation and try to figure out what is going on. I will meet you guys at the cemetery. Okay, so I know I said that we were gonna meet you guys at the cemetery, but I can't. we can't get the car started. We can't even get the car started. John is putting the key in. The key got stuck 
inside the ignition he finally got the key out and now the key won't even turn to start the car everything's lighting up and stuff when we turn the key on but it it's not doing anything not, not only that's coming on though see there's no lights on the dash or anything did you leave the lights on or something could it be the battery no no i mean we just used it right did we just this, came out these lights work mm -hmm. and we just came out and you know, we just parked it what and two hours ago yeah you know we were working fine when we went to the grocery store i don't know i don't know I got the spirit box right here, you guys, and I got the headphones already plugged into it so that oh, when we, oh. it started? I think, yes. So is it just the key? Is there something wrong with the key? This is an old car. I don't know. I don't even know. Should we even try it? I, I'd like to. I'd like to try it still. Okay. All right. Let's go. I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know about this. So John's outside popping the hood. We didn't get far. We probably got 10 minutes from the house, I would say. And now we're having car issues again, so. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea, because the battery cables are attached well. The battery is normal. I can't, I'm not really a mechanic, but from what I can see, there's nothing wrong with it. I just think it's the, the battery, but that's the only thing that keeps the car from starting. Okay, but it's so weird, because any time that I've ever had a car that had a battery issue, yeah. it would like present the issue, you know, multiple times before the battery would just go completely dead. Yeah. And the car never died when it was already on. It yeah. shut off in the middle of us driving it. That's, That's not it like- a bad battery, right? When it shuts off when you're driving? I, I, the I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. But I, I know. mean, the car hasn't given us any problems and we've had it for a month. Yep, yep. I, we gotta figure this out because I really want to go. I really want to go. Do you, do you mind if we just figure it out? Why don't we? I'll get maybe there's tools and I'll work on the battery see if I can get it going. Okay, I guess. I mean, I, I want to go, but it's like I know it, it seems like it's preventing us from going. Like it seems like yeah. something's stopping us from going. Would that it, that's what it feels like to me. Would it be anything to do with 3 a.m. coming up? I don't know what time is it. Uh, 2.45. 2.45, look at this, y'all, yeah. look at this. I don't, yeah, let me light it up. Can you see it? Oh, it's 2.45 a.m. Yeah, sir, maybe what? that's it. Okay, so we got the car back started, but unfortunately that took like an hour and a half, and I'm just not down to go to the cemetery at 4.30 in the morning. I'm tired, I don't know about you. No, yeah, I'm not either. I, I was, I guess, I still kind of want to do it, but Let's just try it tomorrow night. The sun's gonna be coming up soon anyways. Yeah, true. So I just feel like we probably should just go to bed and if yeah. we do do it, we should do it at 3 a.m. Cause that's when most spirit activity is. You sure? I mean, yeah, you made sense with what you said that around 3 a.m. that's when the spirits are yeah. more active. So yeah. if we're gonna go, we need to make it worth it. I'm bringing uh, something to defend ourselves with. Uh, Definitely. Should we play with the spirit box in the house? Yeah. Sure. Do you want to? Yeah. I mean, at least to like figure out how it works and yeah. all that. Yep, let's give it a shot. Okay, all right. I mean, I'm down. Me too, it's gonna be okay. interesting. <laughs>